Hey, hello there, guys. Proxens here, and welcome back to another episode of the Yokai Watch 3 Sukiyaki version series on the channel. So, in the previous episode, we did some stuff. I don't really remember what happened since it's been a while, but let's just do what we're supposed to do now since we have to go over to this arrow and see what's going on. So, let me get on the bicycle since that makes traveling a bit faster. And now, let's go and see what we have to do over here, because I really don't know what's going to happen. So, it's going to be a bit of a surprise. So, here we go. Let's enter into the other part of the town. And now, it looks like we're going over to the treehouse area. I think... Yeah, yeah, that's where we're going, but are we going directly to the treehouse, or not? You know what? Since we're going that general direction, I might as well just use Mirapo, since it makes traveling easier. So let's just go over here, and speed up the travel real quick, and let's see where we're going. We are going to the treehouse. Okay, good to know. Very good to know, but what are we going to be doing at the treehouse? That is the important question. It looks like we're going on to the boat. Let's see here. I think we have to customize it before we have to leave. So that's already equipped. Good. I think we're good to go. I'm not really sure where we're going, but we'll figure this out, I hope. I think we're supposed to go this way. Wait, other way, other way. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is where we're supposed to go. It's been a little bit since I have done this quest back in Sushi Tempura, so I don't exactly remember the method to it, but I think we're supposed to go over here. I'm hoping that we're supposed to go over here. If not, we can always go back and try again through the other path. Okay, here we go. Rotate this. Just keep going. I think we went the right way. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Well, with that being the case, let's just go through here and let's try to get to the end without messing stuff up. Here we go, and attack, uh, darn it, it's a good thing that we weren't attacked there because I sort of missed that, so yeah, it's fine. Let's keep going through here, we're going to get a little bit of a boost here, and now we just have to keep on moving forward until we get to the goal at the end of this cave. So here we go, oh, rotate quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go, nicely done. What do we have here? It appears that we have to just keep on rotating. There we go, nice. Keep going and jump right now. And just keep moving through the cave. Alright, here we go, we've got more bats in the way. Keep moving, we're almost at the halfway point here. Which is good to see since that means we don't have that much left until we arrive at our destination. So here we go, keep rotating this. I can't stop, I have to keep on moving until we get over to the goal. Because any stopping is a bad idea and it will probably lead to us getting damage done to the raft. So here we go, like that. That was a moment of damage to the raft. Okay. Ah, darn it. Darn it. I keep letting the enemies attack. This isn't good. This is not good. Let's keep moving forward. Here we go. Ah, darn it. I keep messing up with that. It's always whenever an enemy attacks us that I mess up. I don't know why. It's just whenever we're in that situation, I usually mess up. And I usually don't press the A button in order to attack the enemy back but now oh I was going to say but now I will but I didn't I messed up again 
Let's try and break this log. There we go. <laughs> nice. Very nice. So I believe we are getting very, very, very close to our destination. It should be at the end of this cave here. There it is. Okay. Hopefully we don't get any more damage done to us. Okay, we are very, very, very close to losing the raft. But luckily, we arrived at our destination, so that is very nice. And this isn't our destination. Oops. I was so excited that we finally arrived, but nope. We didn't. I guess we have to stick to the other way? Possibly? So that entire travel there was a bit of a waste, but it's okay. It's okay. We will learn from our mistakes and hopefully do it correctly this time. I really hope we do it correctly this time, because if we don't, then that's going to suck. I mean, the good thing is the fact that this is going to be a bit shorter of a distance to cover. So that's good, but at the same time, we already wasted a little bit of time to go through that other path that wasn't so successful. Eh, it's fine. Let's just keep going through here and let's just figure this out as we go. I'm pretty sure we have to go forward, so let's do that. And if we make a mistake, it'll be pretty obvious, like so because all of the checkpoints disappeared and now we're going through this very quickly so I think we've made a mistake a small mistake but a mistake nonetheless unless this is the right way it's also very possible that it is but I'm not sure so we'll have to see once we arrive at the end of this path here or rather this river stream one of the two is this where we're supposed to be? Come on. No. Okay. Well, this is the fun part about going on boats. Sometimes you go the right way. Sometimes you don't. So, yeah, every now and again you'll make a little mistake. And it'll be a bit disappointing. But, hey, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So we have to stick to the left. Don't go that way. And the same thing applies for the next one. So let's do this. And hopefully this time we arrive at our destination. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Stick to the same stream and try to go as fast as possible. Here we go. Break through that. Because we can, and it's a good idea to do that, so then we don't get damage done to us. Also, let's try and deal with this opponent over here. Yes! There we go! There we go! It's been a while since we've managed to do that properly, but we did it, and that is cool. Let's do it again. Never mind. <laughs> okay, stick to this side. Was that the good decision? I hope it was. And I really hope that there isn't another, like, fork in the road where we have to choose a specific way to go. Because if there is another fork in the road, then we might not be able to find out our destination. Or we'll just go through that fork in the road and we'll probably take the wrong path. And then we will have to travel a another time. And then eventually we'll get to our destination. Let's just hope that there isn't a fork in the road. It's pretty simple. Just don't let the river split into two. Just let it stay in the same place. And let us arrive at our destination without any problems. Okay, I should be more careful. Because we are not doing so well in terms of our boat's health. So I need to be more careful here, and I need to try and avoid any enemies or logs and stuff, 
Also, if there is an enemy, I need to try and, like, hit them. I don't need to let them hit me. Also, rotate, rotate, rotate. Ooh, we got lucky there. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We got lucky that we didn't take damage the first time, but then we hit something again and we took damage there. Okay, let's keep going through here. Rotate, rotate, rotate. No, our health isn't looking too good right now, but I think this might be where we're supposed to be, so it's fine. Come on, let this be the proper location. Come on. Is it the correct place? It is. Yes, it is. Beautiful. Oh man, that's genuinely exciting because I was really worried that we might have taken another wrong path but it's fine because we have arrived in the location that we're supposed to be in so now let's go over to this mansion thing and see what's going on hopefully there's cool stuff inside also let me grab these items around here just in case because you never know it might come in handy to grab them now Ooh, what do we have here <gasps> a map very nice very, very nice. So let's ride the bicycle since we have the option to do so. And let's activate the Mirapo over here. There we go. I'm not going to use the Mirapo since I don't really need to do that. What I need to do is check this other area to see if there's an item. And there is. And it is a Minion part. So that's always wonderful. And food. Cool. Very cool. Let's grab this. Oh, it's one of those ticket things that I don't know the purpose of, but we've gotten a few of them, I think. Let's just go over here and see what happens. So we're walking up to the mansion, and I just have to say, this is a really nice mansion. It's a giant mansion, so... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Just keep walking. Oh, the ground's shaking. Um, <laughs> what's going on here? There's a giant hole in the ground and we're about to fall in. Okay, then. Well, that's wonderful. And Mac is just going to ignore the situation. Okay then, I don't know how I feel about that. Mac? What was that about? What was that about? Okay then. Yeah, that's a weird situation, but I guess it's okay. And it looks like we are in separate areas here, so how are we going to meet back up? Do we have to go through all the paths and stuff and try to meet back up at some point? I'm not sure, but we have to try whatever works. Okay, it also looks like Inaho is inspirited by that yokai right there. I don't know its name, but I have seen it before, so why is it inspiriting Inaho? Oh, it's gone now. Okay, that's fine. I mean, as long as it doesn't try and inspire us again, then that's fine. <laughs> also, the door is locked on the other end, and on our end, the door is open, but there is another obstacle in the way, which is a giant rock, but luckily we have the ability to break through it, so maybe we have to help each other out and try something here. Oh, can we not break through that? Are you kidding me? Okay, go right here. And use this drill. There we go. That should do the trick. Okay, nice. Very nice. So, run away, run away, and hide. There we go. I'm just going to wait until we have the perfect opportunity to do this. Just grab it! There we go. It's a key. Very nice. Okay, let's run back. 
Okay, come on, Whisper. We don't need to discuss this. We just need to hand the key over to Inaho and hope that it unlocks the door. Here we go. And we need to... Actually, we need to do this first. And we need to hand the key over. And then we need to go over to this IPO. There we go. And switch over to Inaho in order to open up the door. Yeah, that's what we've got to do. So now we can walk over here and we can insert the key into the lock and the door has been opened up. And I assume that we're going to be doing a back and forth here, just like we did in Sushi Tempura where we find a key on one side and then we find a key on another side and then we find a key on another side and then I think that'll be the final key. Possibly. <laughs> I don't remember how long it took, but I think there's only two keys per side. I think. Not 100% sure, but I think. Okay. Let's go into this fight. Awesome. Okay. Let's speed it up, because it's not a difficult fight, so we can just speed it up in order to win it. Here we go, come on, do your thing. Dodzilla should be doing more damage, but it looks like Dodzilla is just not doing anything right now. Oh, it's because he's inspirited. That makes more sense. Okay, here we go. And do all of that. Oh, there we go. Very nice. So take down that final enemy and win the fight. Very, very nice, and now, anybody level up? Yes, two level ups on Dodzilla and Kung Fu Mac, so now let's continue traveling through here. I want to wait until that enemy passes by, and now we can walk over here and continue to break all of these things. There we go, let's grab this. What is inside? Oh, it's a part for the boat! Very nice! That'll come in handy. And also, we got another key. That will also come in handy. So now, we need to walk by these enemies. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not here. You didn't see me. Okay, now we need to run right here. And then, run! There we go. There we go. We handed over the key. Awesome. Now, switch over to Alex. There we go. And I think we have to find one more key on Alex's side before we're good to go. So wait for the opportunity and run. Whoops. We didn't manage to run there, but that's fine. Perfectly fine. Let's just speed up the fight and hope for the best. It should go by relatively quickly because these enemies aren't really that powerful. So yeah, just take them down and do your thing. There we go. Ooh, let's target that. Ooh, very nice. We are increasing our chances of befriending them, even though we kind of don't really need to do that. So yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, we got some experience there, and Jibanyan leveled up. We also got some ice cream, so that's cool. And now, let's go over here, break through this, break through this, break through this one as well, and wait. Okay, now break through it, and then carefully walk by. Never mind. <laughs> Every single time that I try to carefully walk by an enemy, it usually doesn't work out, because the enemy will just turn to the side at the perfect moment and then it will do damage to us. It kinda sucks, but it's fine. <laughs> Cause these fights aren't really that difficult and we can win them relatively quickly. Let me actually heal someone up here. Do I have any pizzas? I don't have any pizzas. Yes I do, beautiful. Pizzas are the best, cause they heal you up so much. So now let's uninspirit. And do that once again, and one more time, 
There we go. Now keep on attacking until we take it down. How much health? No more because it's done now and so is that other one. So there we go. We won the fight and we got three level ups. Very, very nice. And now let's go over to the door that is in our path and let's unlock it. And then after that, I need to give Inaho the key, I think. There should be a key over here. Yes, there is. Very nice. So now we just have to run back and hand over the key. So let's do this. Be very careful. There we go. And run. Okay, I ran into the enemy. That wasn't my intention. Do we have any escape dolls? Please tell me I have at least one. We have 12. That is definitely at least one. Just a little bit more than one. <laughs> okay, so now that we have escaped from this fight, let's go over here and hand over the key to Inaho. And then what we need to do is run all the way back over here after that recharges. There we go. The reason I'm going back over here is so I can use the IPO that's right here. And then I can switch over to Inaho from over here. And that saves the extra walking. So now open up this door. There we go. And run by... Ah, uh, darn it. I ran by the first one, but I also ran into the second one. <laughs> Whoops! Okay, let's just speed this up, and I might as well just use a Sultimate here, since we have the option to do so, and it does save some time. So, here we go. Use your Sultimate and do that damage. How much damage? Not really that much. That's a bit disappointing, but it's okay. It is okay. So let's see here. Keep on attacking. How much health? Barely any health left. One more hit will do the trick. And there we go. That was all we needed to do in order to win that fight. And now we can run over to the door that we have to open up and we can do that. So here we go. Just drill through these rocks and open up the door okay there we go and there we go we opened up the door and now we have officially finished up that puzzle that we had there so that is very cool and let's save the game because we finished up a puzzle and you never know what's going to happen next so it's smart to save the game <laughs> Okay, there we go, and I think for now I'm going to end off this episode here. So thank you all so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Bye everybody.